Is it too much to ask for a president under the retirement age? Is it too much to ask that Reddit not get overwhelmed with troll farms 10 full months before the election? Would be nice, but don't lose sight of the fact that old age by itself isn't as bad as old age plus a number of criminal charges and tendency towards fascism. We have one old and out of touch person running for office and one who's old, out of touch, and a corrupt wannabe authoritarian running for office. Stop buying into the narrative that these two candidates are two sides of the same coin. You build connections over time, and you build skill at running for office over many campaigns. You don't start being an elected official usually until your 40s, and you can grow at that job, for more than 30 years. So most serious candidates are going to be 50 plus if not 60 plus, Obama was the farthest outlier in half a century. But addressing the core point, go watch two minutes, any two minutes, of a recent Biden speech. Then go watch two minutes of Trump. If we asked Biden to write a 20-page report on the political forces and historical events leading to the current issues involving Gaza, I'd bet he could do it without needing to go into sources, it'd be organized, and it'd be mostly complete. I'm not sure Trump can write at this point, and he can't seem to make strong points about any topic of his own choosing, even if doing so would save him hundreds of millions of dollars. He regularly perjured himself on Twitter which is like the world's most amazing unforced terror. These aren't anywhere near the same leak. I think it is because it takes decades to get the political backing to have a chance of getting to debate, and even then, it will be very hard to convince the older voters to vote for someone much younger than they are. I think deciding if a candidate if competent to be the president is our responsibility as voters regardless of the candidate's age. I would probably have voted for an 85-year-old Warren Buffet. Benjamin Franklin was 70 when the American Revolution began, not many lived that long in his time. I agree the two likely candidates for the presidency are past their prime and less than mentally fit, but we voted them this far. Apparently. Yes. What retirement age? There isn't one in this country. That would be a nice rule to have in place going forward. No. If that matters to you, vote more often. Particularly in primaries. Neither of our old, soon to be nominees were the inevitable nominees this cycle or in 2020, but there were more people who voted in primaries this time and last who had other priorities. Old people vote. Is it too much to ask that people vote in or at least understand the primary system? Too late for this election. Why do most of the people complaining do nothing during the primaries? Most will turn this into an anti-Trump or anti-Biden rhetoric. That's not what is important. What is important is the validity of your question. Yes, we absolutely need younger candidates for the presidency of the U.S. Having geriatrics that we constantly have to question the mental capacity of is a joke. Right now we are headed towards what arguably could be the most ridiculous pair of candidates in the history of our country. Neither has the mental fortitude or wherewithal to be in charge of a gas station let alone the most powerful country in the world. The biggest issue is that we are viewed as leaders in many places in the world and seen as a land of great opportunity but if continue to prop up puppets that are just there to be the safe choice. We are headed down a really bad path. There should be laws in place to prevent anyone who would be over 67 at any point in their term. From holding office, we need younger people with more understanding of what is actually a normal American life making. These decisions, these guys have both lived sheltered lives and have absolutely 0.0 idea what an actual us citizen encounters on a daily basis are the challenges we face for ourselves and our children. They just get reports from over-educated people that also have no idea what our lives are like. Living in an ivory tower and dictating to the masses is not a valid way to govern. You were really too afraid to ask this? This is an incredibly benign, milk toast. And just silly question to be entirely honest the sentiment you allude to here is a mainstream. 
political one. So it's not as if this is some sort of taboo topic. It is true that if those two are the best candidates the US political system can produce, it is profoundly broken. It is too much to ask that all you people whining about who gets elected actually get out and participate in the electoral process. This year it is. You can stay home or pick an old man to vote for. Those are the choices this year no matter how badly we want to whine about it. The choice is Yoda or the Emperor. Yes. I think a president who is right at the retirement age would be perfect. If you think about the presidency as the pinnacle of someone's political career and the fact that it only comes around every four years, there are actually a very limited group of people who are actually competitive for it. At least in the Democratic Party, Obama was a once-in-a-generation fluke who got catapulted into superstardom as a pretty young guy. Due to his charisma and speech-making abilities, I think that is coloring the choices for a lot of people. Joe Biden would have run in 2016 if his son hadn't died. That means he would be finishing up his presidency this year, which would have been perfect. It's not his fault he was the best available candidate in 2020. That was a wide-open primary. He has a similar Teflon quality to his opponent which unfortunately makes him still the best candidate to oppose him. I also think his issues are mostly around his voice and gaffes, which have been an issue for him his whole career. If he was actually facing mental decline, it would be known by now. Every reporter in DC would be on the lookout for it. If you enjoyed this video, Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.